Test Drive with Graham Fletcher. This week on Test Drive, we look at the 1991 Chevrolet Caprice Classic. As you can see, the body has been radically restyled, but beneath this new facade lurks all of the traditional technology that made the Caprice name what it is today. Now, this is a full-size V8 engine, and it's dwarfed in the engine compartment, which gives you a good idea of just how large this car actually is. The North American Forte has always been a traditional full-size rear-wheel drive vehicle with a V8 engine. The new Chev Caprice fits this description to a T. Under the hood is a 5-litre V8 engine that produces 170 horsepower. It is matched to a 4-speed automatic transmission. In the acceleration test, we required a little over 11 seconds to reach 100 kilometres an hour. All things considered, this level of performance is more than acceptable. In the pylon test, the Caprice put on a reasonable show. Interestingly, the limiting factor here was more to do with the total lack of lateral support offered by the seats than it was to do with the suspension. On the open road, however, the large seats do provide superb comfort and the suspension does a good job of isolating the occupants from the rigors of a rough road. The range of comments received on the Caprice's new body style range from polite interest through to two thumbs down. The most interesting comment came from the cameraman, who said the car looked like an unfinished artist's conception of a vehicle in the prototype stage. Personally, with the exception of the treatment around the rear wheels, I quite like the overall effect. Now, can you imagine this car decked out in full police regalia? At the moment, this may seem far-fetched, but when you consider that the Caprice has long been the staple diet of police forces throughout North America, it is not beyond the realms of possibility and is rather intriguing, to say the least. Aside from the appearance, the only other major changes are the addition of a driver side airbag and a Bosch 2 anti-lock brake system, both of which significantly improve vehicle safety. During the brake test, the ABS system stopped this heavy car from 80 kilometers an hour in just 112 feet. The absence of any brake pedal pulsation when the system is activated eliminates the driver apprehension associated with the older type systems. The dash layout is plain and simple, featuring a large analog speedometer, fuel and temperature gauges. The remainder of the systems are monitored by large warning lights, which on a vehicle of this type is not a bad thing. I also like the way all the controls for the power options are conveniently grouped together. On the downside, the horn buttons are tiny, and so I sometimes found myself pounding the airbag instead of expressing my displeasure at the motorist that just cut me off. Despite the trunk's enormous size, the spare tire location and unusual contours deprive you of much of the usual space. On the subject of the trunk, the Caprice features a remote control to unlock the doors and open the trunk. Someone was obviously thinking here because it will only function with the car in park, which is a very sensible idea. A couple of other items worthy of mention are the compass mounted in the rearview mirror and a coin and cup holder that pulls out from above the ashtray. The only problem is you cannot use the ashtray if you use the cup holder. Before we go to the scoreboard, it's time for my pet peeve with the Caprice Classic, and it is to do with this left side door mirror. It's far too small for a vehicle of this size, meaning there's a nasty blind spot over your left hand shoulder. Now to the scoreboard for the ratings of the 1991 Chevy Caprice Classic. There never has been a true substitute for cubic inches when it comes to engine size, and so despite the 11 second time, the 5 litre V8 hauls the Caprice to the 100k mark with a minimum of fuss and makes highway cruising a pleasure. The suspension system is anything but sophisticated. However, it offers superb ride comfort and it handled the pylon test relatively well. Only the lack of any real lateral support from the seats hindered things. Another superb showing from the Bosch 2 anti-lock brake system and so another equally high score for that performance. There was virtually no engine noise evident and only a very minimum amount of wind noise, giving the Caprice a very serene environment. At an average of 24 miles per gallon, or 11.7 litres per 100 kilometres, the days of the Caprice being known as a gas guzzler are gone. Be warned though, it still gets thirsty around town with the air conditioner switched on. The futuristic styling atop a traditional rear-wheel drive platform should ensure the Caprice a healthy sales rate. It also provides a very affordable and very welcome alternative to the caddies and Lincolns of this world. If you consider Motoring TV's been on the air for 30 plus years, 
there's no doubt you've missed a few episodes. Well, there's a couple of ways you can catch up and make sure you don't miss anything. First, you can go to YouTube and look up just segments or complete shows. Also, if you want to know what we're doing like today on a daily basis, just go to our Facebook page. And also, you can go to MotoringTVShop.com and get some cool swag. Oh, there's also that Instagram.